The displaced Sipiks will be placed into allotments on the same land they lived on before they were chased off in 2010. This time, the Bulolo District Administration has mixed up the ethnic groups. People will not be living in clusters of ethnic groups on their own. Bulolo District Authority CEO Tai Gwambalak says the district had to act immediately because the Sipiks were in the care center for almost six years. In fact, the area we all been sabi for long, and people are surveying, can long survey. This time, people are like making me official long survey, the plotting, subdividing, so all people, all settlers, they can apply long. So now, people have been starting off, and them here, you can look, 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 backside long here, and this place is formerly known as uh, Biwat Compound. The Morobe Provincial Government, through the Provincial Lands Department, was going to allocate new land, but ran out of funding to complete the surveys. Total amount of uh, portions from this side, lo, lo area you missed up long ago, junction, that's uh, 76 plus sub divided uh, blocks, I mean, like, but from then I go further up towards the airport and 700. So it's almost uh, seven to 800 uh, subdivision. The poor living condition that included airborne diseases and water shortages at the care center had been an issue for the duration of the six years. The CIPICs are now waiting to move on to their allotments. I remember he, he come he step in now and I help him, uh, provincial government now, long speed him up his process, blow his old man. Now I'm good player. I must say, me, I'm almost like this because me, me don't have strong play time. Marquis Mombi, a Lutheran pastor and Sipic community leader, says they would like to have more dialogue with authorities to keep them better informed. I would like him to come down and meet him. Update him, that's all. On time progress. So that I would update him on my marriage too, because at the same time, on my marriage, I would like to press Bololo town has had many ethnic clashes over the years because of the many different ethnic groups that call the historical town home. But with all of these ethnic clashes, the Bololo district authority hasn't failed to deal with its problems. The district has received support from the Morobe provincial government when these clashes arise. Bololo is a small town, but it is a home to clusters of different ethnic groups and living together as people in the community is sometimes difficult. Bethany Hariman, National MTV News, Bololo.